Hello there and welcome to the June 2019 paper here we're looking at question 7. So this curve C has the equation y equals k squared over x plus 1 where x exists in the real set of numbers but not equal to 0 and k is a constant. Uh, part A is sketch C stating the equation of the horizontal asymptote. So for this um, curve here if we draw our axes it's going to be the 1 over x curve but enlarged by a scale factor of k um, squared but then it's going to be moved up one because there's a plus one there so the equation of that asymptote is y equals one and it's going to look like the one one over x squared graph just like that Excellent. Uh, the line L has equation y equals minus 2x plus 5. Show that the x coordinate of any point of intersection of L with C is given by the solution to this equation here. So if we're trying to intersect this line here and this line here, then the two equations must be equal to each other. So k squared over x plus 1 equals minus 2x plus 5. Let's times x by both sides. Let's times x on both sides. If we times x here, that will just cancel out the x. We have to multiply by x here as well, and then it'll be minus 2x squared plus 5x. Let's move everything now onto the left-hand side, so it would be 2x squared, and then it'll be minus 4x, and it'll be plus kx squared, so plus k squared. There we are. Um, hence, find the exact solution of k for which the line L is a tangent to C. So if a line is a tangent to a graph, then when you've rearranged it and you are at the point of working out the quadratic, b squared minus 4ac will be exactly equal to 0. If you've got two intersections of the curve, it will be greater than 0. If you've got just one in, just no intersections, it will be less than 0. But in this case, b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. So in this question here, b is minus 4, a is 2, and c is k squared. So let's go ahead and substitute those in. It's going to be 16 minus 4 times 2 times k squared. Uh, let's divide by 8 on both sides. So it's going to be 2 minus k squared equals 0. So then 2 equals k squared. So therefore k equals plus or minus root 2. And that would make sense because if it's plus 2, it's going to be a tangent at this graph point here. And if it's going to be... Um, Actually, no, sorry, no, that, that's not quite right. Um, if it was, um, no, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, k squared will just make uh, this, this root 2, whether it's plus or minus, uh, positive. So it's just going to make it uh, positive when it's k squared. So there we are. That's the answer for these uh, eight marks here. That's question seven. Let's now move on to question eight.